welcome back guys this is question 3.4 of chapter 3 and the statement it has is a coin is flipped until three heads in succession occur list only those elements of the sample space that required six or less tosses is this a discrete sample space explain okay. so basically we have here two parts of this question in first part we have to show all the elements in which the three heads in succession occur but there is a fundamental constraint that those tosses doesn't exceed six tosses okay so therefore now let me solve it and writing them all the solution let me first have here all the tosses in which first three would become the head so it would be head heads and head okay so this is what this is the first possibility there is also a second possibility that first we will get tail then heads and then heads then heads so this is again four which is less than six okay again there is a possibility that we would get first tail then tail then heads heads and heads okay so these are basically five in which we can see that here we have three tosses which results in three successive heads okay similarly we can also have here heads tail heads heads and heads okay so there is another possibility after it we can also have here tail 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 and then after we can get heads heads and heads okay so therefore we have got here six tosses okay similarly now we can have here heads tail tail heads Heads, heads, okay. Similarly, heads, heads, and then tail, okay, and then heads, heads, and heads. Okay. So these are now six, and we have seen that we have reached to the limit where tosses can have. Okay, so these are the six tosses, which are the maximum limits, and after it we will exceed the number of tosses. Okay. So these are all the possibilities or the sample space which we have here and we can very easily see that these are all the discrete elements okay we can see here that these discrete elements either can result in three tosses here we have four tosses here we have five tosses similarly six so we can see that these are composed of the discrete values and we cannot represent anything here with the numbers which are consist of the decimal point or anything just like this or the fractions okay so therefore this is basically the discrete event or all the elements here are discrete in number so uh, we have here the discrete sample space and that is for today in which we have seen the solution of question 3.4 and i hope you have understood the essence of the questions like this one so if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon